Hi diamond painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in today with another five minute quick tip. Today's quick tip is all about double-sided adhesive versus poured glue and how those two types of canvases hold up over time. So I just finished a canvas and I was looking back through my diamond painting logbook where I keep track of all my canvases. If you'd like to make your own, look in the cards up in the corner. I was looking through for my oldest canvas in my rotation and it is this Tree of Life canvas from Home Fun that I ordered in spring of 2019. So this has been hanging in my closet, not rolled, just hanging on a hanger, um, like a clip hanger, for the last more than a year. And I went to check out what the canvas looks like now because I wanna start it. And I'll show you what I found. Now I'll tell you, if you wanna look at the unboxing for this canvas, so that you can see its original condition, I'll link that in the cards. But it certainly did not look like this. Can you see that? Now, if I were to do this canvas now, I would have to cut out and flatten every single one of those ripples and rivers in that double-sided adhesive or my drills would ripple when I put them on. Now, should I have left this very inexpensive canvas stored in my closet for a year and some change in a climate that varies between 100 degrees in the summer and 50 below zero in the winter? Probably not. Now, I have a number of these canvases that are of similar age. I have a few that are a little younger than this one. Some are from Evermoment, some are from Home Fun. Um, back before I knew about licensing and I knew how many Alley images were copyright infringing, I ordered a bunch that I'll probably never finish and they all look pretty similar. Even the Evermoment canvases that use a heavier canvas fabric in my climate look pretty similar and they've all been stored flat or hanging for that amount of time. Now, let me compare that to a Diamond Art Club poured glue canvas that's in my stash. This I got in the summer of last year, so it's about a year old, probably about a month younger or so than the canvas I just showed you. This is a poured glue canvas. We've got a lot of ripples in the top cover there. But if I pull back that top cover, this canvas is just as pristine as the day I unboxed it. It's just as sticky, it still lays as flat, even though this one has been rolled up. Now I do have a canvas from Home Fun on AliExpress that I finished right away after I received it, and it's hanging in my living room. It's, it's um, The Lady of Shalott by John William Waterhouse, and it looks just great. So I think the moral of this story is, if you plan to buy a lot of inexpensive canvases from AliExpress with double-sided tape, make sure you do those right away if you live in a climate as variable as mine. Otherwise, you might be better off spending your money on canvases that are a little more expensive, a little higher quality, because that may save you heartache and money in the end. So I hope this has been a helpful tip for you. If you have a lot of canvases from AliExpress um, that you purchased before you knew about all the copyright issues, tell me how they're holding up for you. I'll leave you with that info today. As always, spread some joy wherever you are today, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.